Hey little hoes, my name is Kristen and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a continuation of the last theme I did, which is plant mail updates. And I'm going to try and be quicker because my phone is apparently telling me lies with the storage and I have a lot less than I expected. So um, again, this is going to be in the living room. Yesterday's was in the bathroom. So let's jump right into it. This first dude is the Stefania Erecta that I got from Etsy. And just like the seller said, I don't know why I was so doubtful. They needed extreme humidity in order to come out of dormancy. This one came out. The other one did not. I'm still waiting for some foliage to pop on this guy. So it's, it's a work in progress. This is my big, beautiful, variegated Burl Marks philodendron. I got this for a screaming deal on Etsy, and I believe the seller was just kind of looking to get out of selling plants, so sold it for pretty cheap. I think I got this guy, again, it wasn't quite this big, but it was still pretty substantial. I got it for maybe 55 ish before shipping. And it has just lately been nonstop growth. And I've got some really cool sort of variegated stems happening too. Some are coming out just plain green, the foliage, but it's not all on one particular stem. So I'm not too worried. I don't think I'll have to chop or anything. At least not yet. Now this is the Subhastatum, my most recent mail order from Equigenera. And if you guys will um, have watched my IGTV video on this, all of a sudden it just started to wilt terribly and the stem looks super dehydrated. Um, there is a lesion-ish thing here going on. I think it's just bruising. I'm hoping it's not anything too worrisome it's not mushy so I have hopes I did put it in spag moved it from the soil to damp spag my elegans responded really well to this and recovered nicely from having almost no roots so fingers crossed guys it will perk back up and recover this dude is the gloriosum I got from the people's plants last year and it's doing pretty decent. It really did not want to put new growth on. But now it's starting to, and it's looking really weird. A lot of my plants in the living room, I don't think it's humid enough for them. So they're having issues unfurling. And this dude just like ripped through his own leaves. Like the Hulk just ripping through his own clothes. I don't know what's going on. If you guys have thoughts on this, let me know. I'm guessing it's a humidity thing. I've been trying to keep it misted, but there's just so much misting one can do. This is Brandy or Brantianum philodendron I got from Pepper's Greenhouse. And it came in with a lot of cold damage. I think I got it in the fall. And I don't know. Again, there's a lot of problems with it wanting to unfurl leaves so it's kind of just hanging out it's not super impressive as of yet I'm hoping it just grows past this awkward foliage stage and get some nice looking leaves that come out less distorted it's right by the humidifier so I don't know why it would need more but whatever this is Mo Mr. Campost Portianum. I got this on Etsy and it was like 30, 35 bucks for it. Fast, fast grower. I do wish the leaves would stay more bronze. They tend to age to more green, but still quite lovely. Very fast grower and I potted it up when I got it and it didn't skip a beat. It immediately, almost immediately started putting on more new growth. So it's very vigorous and continuously seems to have some sort of new growth happening. B 
by Penifolium Splash Gordon. This guy's just plain weird. And the foliage comes out distorted, but I think that that is mainly due to its variegation causing that distortion. It's a kind of an odd marbly variegation to it. It's not s splashy or bold or anything, which makes me really want to get the actual variegated form of bipenifolium. It's a lot more bright and bold. It's cool. It took a very long time for it to put out any new growth, but now it's putting out a ton. Probably needs to be repotted soon. This is the Epipremnum Shangri-La I got from Etsy this spring. And this guy is supposed to look like this. And this is the case where you buy it because you want it to look contorted. And some of the new leaves are less puckery than the older ones. So I'm not sure if I should be just keeping it on there like that or cutting the less contorted off. I guess if it starts to overtake the whole plant, I'll start to chop it. Yes, Mama, I hear you. Meh. This is Hestatum. I bought it as, I think, Moonshine from Pepper's Greenhouse. And again, it had a ton of damage to it, but... Now that spring's hit, the warm weather, it's really started to churn out some new growth. And desperately it needs to be staked and repotted, but I just don't have the time or any cocoa liner to make one. It's been hard to get cocoa liner in, so hopefully I'll get it soon to make some more moss poles. I might just have to use an ugly bamboo stake. A lot of gatation on this too, just side note, very sticky on this plant. But this guy's super cool. I love the silver foliage. So cool. Can't wait for it to get those mature leaves. Um, swinging over here. My Squamiferum. And you guys will know I absolutely love her. One of my favorites. I moved her to this bigger pot and totem pole this spring. She isn't growing much. I'm guessing she's reestablishing her root system before she puts on more growth, but yeah, I hope that the staking will encourage even bigger foliage. She's awesome. Calathea mosaica, and I got this one from the People's Plants last year, and I got it for boyfriend because he likes these kind of weird foliage. It's doing all right. In all honesty, I think I've kind of gotten over my love of Calathea, and this guy's just slightly forgotten, but still very cool foliage. I do need to take the advice of my friend Jess and start using distilled water for Calatheas to avoid this brown tips because they hate minerals in the soil, and if you use regular tap water, it tends to build up quite a bit. Scooting back, oh god. Jose Bueno, or Buono, however you want to say it, also from Glass House Works last year. Um, kind of just remained status quo for a really long time, and not until a couple months ago did it start putting out new growth. And I do need to start to very gently train it toward that moss pole. The leaves aren't getting larger. They're kind of coming out smaller, so I don't know. My theory is I need to desperately stake it to that pole and give it something to prop its weary head on. Pretty easy plant. Nothing to complain about there. This is my Philodendron Elegans that I got from Equigenera a couple orders ago. And these are, again, the juvenile leaves, so it will, I believe, start to look more skeleton key like or skeleton like as it matures. You guys will know it came in absolutely decimated roots. Nothing uh, except for a couple little nubs were viable. 
So I popped this thing in damp spag in this glass jar in hopes of reviving it and boy did it bounce back. It has put off a ton of roots. Haven't checked in the last week and a half or so, but if it's anything like last time, they're just going crazy in there. I did want to repot it, but it looks like I might have some new growth and I want to encourage the new growth. I don't want to stunt it by repotting. So I might just hold off on doing so for a little bit until it does its thing one way or the other. But I might have to put some really, really extra chunky soil in. Usually I just use perlite and my normal potting soil, but I'm thinking about maybe putting some leca, maybe some bark in, because I've heard that they're a little bit finicky, their root systems, and don't like to root and are prone to rot. This dude, um, again, kind of one that I've forgotten about. I got it last year from Glass Houseworks. It's kind of looking a little ragged. I think it kind of has some... Might have some spider mites. I might need to take this outside and spray it. But this is known as a princess vine. And this is the Albo Niddens Sissus. So a little bit more silvery foliage than the normal species. And it will get some really cool air roots that um, will hang down 20 feet from the images online. It looks like at least 20 feet. Maybe it's not, but kind of cool. I'm hoping that it will get big and put off some of those aerial roots. Silton Pecana Monstera. Any of you have grown Silton Pecana, you know what an absolute beast it is. And it just recently put off all this new growth. So yeah, I should have gone with the extra large moss pole, but whatever. I did get this from Etsy. I think it was like $15 for a slightly rooted cutting last year and just gone crazy. I've propagated it so many times. A few of those propagations I still have in other cups. I did put a couple more at the base just to fill it out so it's not just like one wispy stem. Super happy with him. Then on to terrarium. This is sad Raphidophora decursiva that I got a couple weeks ago from Ricari. It came in looking good. Couple of kind of worrisome brown spots on some foliage. Um, also kind of damp, little baggy of soil. And I think it was just the process of root rot had started. And after a couple of days, one of the two little starts just completely deflated and rotted. This guy I tried to save by putting in one of these slotted orchid aquaponic pots with perlite. I don't know that it's going to recover, unfortunately. I'm really sad about this. Um, fingers crossed it pulls through. I'm hoping if it doesn't I'll be able to find another one for a reasonable price kind of sad about it. So if you guys see one for a decent price, let me know. And then this, I didn't buy it, so I don't know if it really counts, but this is the variegated Adensonii I won from an Instagram giveaway. Hasn't been doing much, but it's still holding its own, doing all right. I'm so excited for this and fingers crossed I don't mess this up, guys. I did put half perlite, half spag, um, just to try and aid in like the air circulation, make sure it doesn't rot out, keeping the moss damp but not too wet. So yeah. That kind of concludes the video, the updates on plant mail, the plants in my living room specifically. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're all staying safe, healthy, and sane. I will talk to you all real soon. A goodbye.